Hey everyone. So today what I'm going to do is show you how to connect the Samsung range, this is the 9420 model, to the Samsung Connect SmartThings app. It's pretty simple. I mean, quite honestly, they made it super easy to do these days, connecting all their new products to the new Samsung app. Pretty much all I even had to do, I opened up the app right here next to the range and it already found the range and it's asking me if I want to go ahead and connect to it. So I'll go ahead and say add now. Now it's telling me to go ahead and click start. We'll go ahead and do that. The location of where the range is, which is the kitchen in my SmartThings app. Click next. And now it's trying to connect to the range. Now right here, it is telling me on the range, go ahead and press the Smart Control button. Now this is the gas model, so I believe on the electrics it's probably Smart Monitor, but the gas is Smart Control, which is here. So it's telling me to press the button, but don't hold it. So I pressed it. And now it's asking to connect to my at my Wi-Fi which it already has the information for and now it's being registered to my account and now it is saying successfully connected and the status is ready click done and that's it. So in addition to automatically allowing the range to connect to your SmartThings app, like I showed you a minute ago, how when you just open the app and it's right by the range it automatically detects it. If for some reason you hit no, the second the other way to go ahead and connect the SmartThings app is at the top corner you hit the plus button. And then you would go ahead and click add device. And from here you would look for the oven tap that and it is asking me if it's a regular oven or the oven with the LCD mine is the LCD oven once I click that it now takes me back to the start screen that we saw originally when the phone went ahead and detected the range this is the screen it took me to now when you do the manual searching for it this is also what it will take you to once you select your oven and if it's the LCD, click the LCD one. If it's non-LCD oven, then you click the non-LCD, at which point it takes you to this one for the LCD oven. All right, and this is the other way to connect it. I'm not going to go through the rest of the process since it's exactly the same as when it auto-detected the oven the first time, so I'm not going to go through that whole process again because it'll be the same. But this is the other way on, on connecting the oven in case you didn't allow it to auto detect the first time where you accidentally canceled it. This is how to do it the other way. All right. They have seriously made them very simple to connect their new products to the SmartThings app. And here it is on on the home screen. Click range. And there it is. It's giving me pretty much a status of all the different portions of it. The burners, the oven. Let's see. So what I'm doing is hit the bake. I'm just going to go ahead and run something on here. 400 Fahrenheit, hit start, cook time, say it's 10 minutes cook time, set it, there it is the temperatures, the current temperature on it, countdown, and now back on the app, here it is, you can see the current temperature because it's warming up, preheating, so that's 700, 175 Fahrenheit right now, it wants to go to 400, it's got nine minutes left on, on the preheat. You 
And then from here I can cancel it. Don't have any favorites. Let's go ahead and just cancel this. Cancel cooking now. Yes. And here it's... And it's even letting me control it from the looks of it. I'll go ahead and do... Convention Bake. I will set it to... 3.30 for an hour 31 minutes. Send oven, start cooking now. Hit yes. And here it is, 330 Fahrenheit, 1 hour 31 minutes. It's telling me to go ahead and press the start button on the oven to set it, or to go ahead and get it started. Hit the start, and there it goes. Now I'm able to set it, I can send the information to the oven using the SmartThings app, you just can't start it. It wants you to actually be here, which makes sense. And there it is. Current temperature 175. Target is 330. Time left an hour 30 minutes. It's preheating. And I'll just go ahead and recancel it again. And it just popped a message saying cooking canceled. I'm going to close that. You see here I just turned on one of the burners. You can see here on the app. The exact burner that I just turned on is now lit up in red while the others are still blank. So I'll go ahead and turn this one on. Now that one's on. And you can see on the app it's giving me an indication that the two left burners are on, which it is. So that's a nice indicator there. You can, in case for some reason you forget to turn the stove off, your burners off, you can see it on the app if it's left on or not. Here's the settings menu. Temp adjust. Temp units, Fahrenheit, Celsius. 12 hour energy saving. If I remember right, what this means is that if you leave your stove on for more than 12 hours, it automatically turns itself off. My old oven didn't do this, but then again, my old oven was like 17 years old. But apparently some of these newer modern ones actually have this feature. So if you need to run your oven for more than 12 hours for whatever reason, you can just turn that energy saving feature off and after 12 hours it'll just keep running. You can turn the sounds off. Synchronize date and time. There we go. You can see I actually synchronized the time on here with my with my phone. It, you didn't see the change though. Sorry, I should have marked it. Okay, this is just a self check feature. Does a self-diagnosis on your oven in case you don't think it's working properly. Country location. It's just the information screen telling you or showing you the different parts of it. And they really, that's it. I mean, it's pretty simplistic. It allows, the SmartThings app will allow you to set your oven temperature time you just can't actually start it without hitting the start button here first. You have to actually start it on here, but you can set it on your phone. And if your burner is left on, you can actually see the status of your burners on your on your app, so you know if something left was left on or not. And again, I mean, they can't make it any simpler than this. Open up your SmartThings app while you're right next to your appliance. As long as the appliance is on. Your SmartThings app will already detect it. It'll do its sync. 
once it's done syncing the phone to the or connecting the phone to the range you have to hit the smart control and that will finish this the connection up and at that point you're good to go and again this was on how to oh, looks like I got a connection failure again this shows you how to connect the Samsung range this is the 9420 to the Samsung SmartThings app pretty simple I hope this was a little helpful to some people uh, thank you for for watching my channel y'all have a good day